Several of you have reached out to News 8 to tell us about your struggle with feral cats, asking what you can do about them. Well, James Gilbert looked into one case to see if he could find any answers. Jonathan Cack has lived in Brockport for 10 years. First year we were here, we loved these gardens, so my wife and I went and we bought mulch. And has dealt with feral cats for 10 years. Was full of cat pee and cat crap. It was, we had made a litter box. John likes to have his grandkids over to enjoy his big backyard, and he even has a sandbox for the kids to play. But he has to keep it covered when they're not here, because you could imagine what would happen. Feral cats can be a threat to local wildlife. Animal specialist Nick Paulo says many are sick. They've got respiratory issues. They've got conjunctivitis of the eyes. Um, you know, their cuts and all sorts of stuff. To solve the problem, Paulo and animal control officers encourage you to bring the cats to the Humane Society or find local trap, neuter, and release programs. I bring them directly to Lollipop Farm and surrender them there for them. Meanwhile, Keck says he was told to pay for the spaying and neutering himself. I'm not going to spend that kind of money. It's 60 bucks a pop. Leaving his wallet a little thicker, but his backyard a little smellier. James Gilbert, News 8. Over a seven-year span, get this, if unmanaged, a single breeding pair of feral cats can start a chain of production that can result in 400,000 cats.